I've got a food analogy for you today because I love food and I love an analogy. So my question to you today is, what's your flavor? Now, what might be going on here and what might happen is that you might say, I I don't want to say what my flavor is because I'm like lots of things and I'm different things on different days and... I am going to throw something out there which may be bold, but I'm going to say it because it's going to save you so much time. Even if you listen to this the first time and you're like, I don't think she's right. And maybe you'll come back to this in two years later and it's like, she was right. You being all the flavors to all the people or assuming that you are is not helping everybody because some people don't want your flavor. So if you were a food product sitting in the supermarket, you were beautifully packaged, you were in prime position, you had all your ingredients labeled, and you're just like looking jolly right by the tills, even though that product might be like, everybody loves it, it's amazing, and you should buy it too. If your product has, say, got dairy in it, and somebody who is allergic to dairy is walking by, It is your responsibility to be so clear on what your flavor is. My flavor is for people who can stomach dairy. If you're dairy free, this is not gonna work for you. And so what you then do by stating your flavor is you save the people who are not gonna resonate or can't stomach your flavor from interacting with your business. There's nothing worse than, I know so many parents who have kids with allergies, for example, and if the packaging is not clear and it's like, why didn't you say, because now they've got stomach ache, I didn't realize that ingredient was in there. It's the same with our personal brands. We think that we're being kind by being like, I can be, (laughs) I can be anything that you want. You know, like that Mika song, I can be, I can't even remember the words, but you know the one I mean. I I can be all of these things. It's not useful, it's not helpful because sometimes people need to be able to self-select and say, actually that thing is not for me and thank you so much for letting me know because it's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna make a different decision. So my question for you is, in terms of your business, in terms of your brand, what is your flavor? And if you are a particular kind of flavor, I want you to lean into it and fully own it and say, yep, do you know what? That is who I am. This is when I work best. This is the full bodied version of myself. Because also if you start to say, oh, maybe I'll just, you know, dampen this bit down a little bit and be all the things to all the people, you're not helping everybody anyway. So have a think today about what comes up for you. If you want help, if you want support in terms of your online presence, you might want to come to Speak Up Live, which is a day and a week of really working on your online presence, your speaking, beginning to monetize it, etc. It's going to be mega. All the details are on my website. Lots of love. Speak soon. Bye.